So we are now with Klaus Wellershoff. He is Chief Executive Officer of Wellershoff and Partners in Zurich. Uh, Dr. Wellershoff, how has the recent economic turmoil affected the environment for entrepreneurs? I, I think there's a fundamental uh, shift happening at the moment and, and we probably will feel it for years if not for decades to come. I think what we we've just witnessed is a, is a huge, huge crisis in confidence. People don't trust uh, the other side of the equation, be it your contract partner as a company, be it a bank if you make a deposit, but even governments, just think of Greece recently, I think that the trust in economic relationship, in the stability of property rights is eroding and, and from anything that I, everything that I can see I fear we have to believe that will continue to erode and as such many of the things that we got used to in the last couple of years around the phenomenon of globalization, uh, enforceable contracts, the trust in I will get my money back if I invest in China, all those things will be put into question and will make our lives as entrepreneurs much more difficult. I see. I see. Do you believe that because of the situation in which uh, states had to jump in as the lender of last resorts, do you see that uh, we see in our before an era of new big government? Well, I, I think we have to fear that that is going to be the case. I mean, this is a, this is a long theory about this. Uh, I think it was uh, pioneered by two British economists, Peacock and Wiseman, in the 60s. And they looked at traumatic events for societies and what that would do to the size of government. And what they found out was that every time you have a major war or you have a big economic crisis, government tends to expand rapidly and then only slowly is starting to road in, in terms of importance in society and in the economy. And, and this is what we've just seen. I mean, if you look at government outlays in the crisis, help in trying to help banks or trying to promote economic growth, uh, they were very, very significant and it will be very difficult to bring back these government outlays to the levels that we were used to before. I think that's that's what's going to come. And the, the, the corollary of that is, and that's also very important for us in the business community, is since we, we've had decades of governments trying to squench the lemon uh, in terms of expenditure, and it will be very difficult to cut expenditure going forward for many governments, I think the next one or two decades we'll see rapidly rising tax rates. So the environment will be very different. Less trust, higher taxes, bigger government. It's a big challenge for us. We are now on the 40th St. Gallen Symposium. How, what is your impression of the St. Gallen Symposium so far? Do you enjoy the opportunity to exchange ideas here, people from different backgrounds? No, absolutely. I think it's a, it's a great forum of dialogue. Uh, I, I sense that this time around uh, people more easily bridge the gap between you know the younger participants and the older participants and uh, you know I, I was asked to actually promote the dialogue a little bit but I you know in essence I think my role is uh, you know it's not really relevant because people are really picking up on the themes that that are being being presented and I think what really helped were the remarks by Bob have relation um, in the in the in the second session this morning and it really brought home the point to, to the older generation here is that we need to listen to what the young people think and what they say because in all likelihood they're going to do it <laughs> and it's going to be much faster than most people think. Dr. Velasov, thank you very much for your time.